Hey, how's it going and welcome back to the channel Skyrim and the Dawn Guard DLC playthrough. Okay, so we've just finished the Chasing Echoes quest and worked out how to use the portal. So uh, let's head on into the Soul Can. Uh, just a quick FYI, I'm doing this in a dirty playthrough style and I'll only be doing the essential parts. So it'll just be an in and out job. Uh, the exception to this is I'll be getting Arvart's skull as that'll be incredibly useful to us uh, later on in the game. Lastly, as even doing it this way is quite long, I'll be breaking it down into three parts. So if you get lost or turn around, you'll be able to reference the right part of the quest to help you. Okay, loads to do, let's crack on. Okay, first things first, let's dump a load of stuff onto Serana. Because there'll be a few uh, bits and bobs that we'll pick up, which is going to be uh, quite heavy. And what can I get rid of her? Got to get rid onto her, sorry. You actually have a plate. Yeah, give us some torches. We don't need those. I've got to get rid of those bloody right stones. Behind. They're really annoying me. Okay. Let's crack on, guys. And we started beyond death. Okay, so I'm going to leg it straight down here, and uh, the first thing we're going to do is get Arvart's skull. Ugh, smell here. Let's try to I'll turn the lighting up um, quite high as high as I can get it, because it's really dark on the, in here if you don't. And I'll be straight up front with you, I don't like it down here. here don't go. like the gameplay or anything, but we've got to do it. Oh, here we go. Okay. Good night. Come here, you. Good night. Okay, we got common soul gem, yeah. Okay, cracking on. Okay, this is the guy we want to speak to. You must help me find my Arvac. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. Calm down, who's Arvac? Arvac, my horse. We came to this horrible place together. We were attacked by monsters, so I told him to run. Please, he's such a loyal creature, and he's been running for so long. You have to save him. A place like this will change you. Yeah, I'm sure it would. Arvac, How can I help him? Arvac! Where are you? Arvac, please come back. Come back. Okay, don't, don't get any more dialogue out of this guy. Okay. Now, what you will do, uh, and go this route if you want to, you'll see Arvac running past you, and you can follow him if you want. Um, but what I'll do is I'll show you a way we can find him quite easily. because he can lead you around a bit if you follow him. But it is possible. Oh yeah, and uh, we see the uh, effects we're having. I've been partially uh, soul trapped. So you lose 45 points and your stamina and health regenerate really slowly. There you go. Okay, so bear that in mind. It'd be worth bringing some potions uh, with you. Uh, just in case you need them. There's Arvac. Like I say, you can follow him if you want to. But we're not going to do that. Got more. Oh, there we go. Go on, I've got a walk through to do here. Leave me alone. I can take from somewhere else. That'll teach you. I 
I've only done this once before, so it's uh, almost a dirty playthrough, this one. But I kind of do know what I'm doing. Honest. <laughs> so I keep on heading up here. And this is where we'd meet um, Serana's uh, mum. Okay. Well, we're not going to do that. Just uh, head straight and run along the side of the building this way. Now, if you see down there to the left of the picture there. Um, okay, well. Yeah, just in, uh, up in front there's like a blue uh, lines of a soul. There you go. If you're doing the merchant's quest down here, these are soul husks. You can collect up. There's 14 of them. Um, I'm not going to do that. You do get a decent uh, enchanted item if you do that. Anyways, what you want to do is head towards that crenulated uh, tower there. I think it's the only one with those crenulations, so uh, head towards that. I'm all bowmen. Bugger off. Good night. Okay, so head towards that tower, and you can see the glows there. And you can see some souls standing around. They'll turn into bone men. Turn. There you go. That's one. There's quite a few of them. Okay, uh, where are you? Okay, it's taking care of them. I think that's it. Okay. Yeah, thanks for pushing me around, Serana. Thank you very much. Uh, here's your spell. Grab that. Now, what you want to do is run straight through. You get a quest uh, marker there, which is entirely accurate, but return the soul to this guy. Arvac! You saved him! His soul is free. I can feel it. He's such a loyal beast. Here, I'll take the call to you. He'll help you get around this wretched place. But I'm sure he'd be much better if someplace sunnier. Goodbye, hero. Take good care of Arvac for me. He's such a good horse. Okay, no more dialogue, unfortunately, for this guy. Be nice to find his backstory, but hey. So. Into Conjuration. And where are we? Where are you? Summon oh, there you go. Summon of heck. I favour that. And uh we're hot gear. Where are you? Summon of heck. where are you? Where are you? Come to mummy. There you go. Yeah, put that on one. I don't need to go invisible. Uh down here. Okay. And we've got a GG. And just ride him. I think he spooked Serana. Come here. Come here. Okay. It's been really handy to get him down here. Honestly, it's, it's really worth coming to get this guy first. There's a lot of running around in this place. So run up uh, the side of the fort here. I'm kind of wondering how this grass grows in these conditions. And you come to the purpley bits. Here you go, there's our leg. Oh, I'll probably stick to Shadow Mirror a lot, but um, yeah, it's a, it's a really handy thing to have. Anyway, let's go up and see Serana's mum. And here we are. Mother! The Serana? Is it really you? He should have gone, believe. actually. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. 
Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We are here to stop him, to make everything right. Wait a minute. You brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't... You, come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company of my daughter? It pains me to think you'd travel with so How does she know I'm a vampire a hunter? In an effort to hunt me down. This is no ruse. I want to keep her safe. Vampires as a trade. I find it hard to believe your intentions are noble. So I have sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. That's why I'm here, you for the Elder Scroll. the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Savannah herself. So she doesn't trust us. What do you mean? When I fled Castle Volgahar, So she doesn't I trust us. Why is she telling us all this scrolls. stuff? The scroll I presume you found with Savannah speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. How does Serana fit in? Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. The tyranny of the sun requires Sarana's blood? I wanted to protect Sarana, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. Are you saying Harker means to kill her? Oriel's bow, and Sarana's blood was used to taint the weapon. The tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. And I'd exactly never allow that to happen. Stopping him? I'll kill Harkon. You believe that, then you oh, I believe that. Than I originally suspected. Don't you think I weighed that option before I enacted my plans? You care and Serana's opinion in this? Or our whether or not you've become one of us in order to survive the soul cairn, you're still a vampire hunter at heart. You're Indeed I am. We're abominations in your mind. Yes, you are. Evil creatures that need to be destroyed. Yes, you do. Serana believes in me. Why don't you? Serana? The stranger aligns herself with those that would hunt you down and slay you like an animal. Yet I should entrust you to her. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known her than you've done in centuries. How dare you? I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father. Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? Sweet. If you'd only open your eyes the moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you two. I want us to be a family again, but I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him. Before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Sarah. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. Really? For Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Do you have the Elder Scroll with you? It's safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. 
You need to what do we need to do? Of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. We'll return soon. Warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Durnavir roaming the camp. The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. Okay, so we've got to go and kill uh, the boneyard keepers, and she's telling us we can return to the uh, soul can whenever we want to now without penalty. We don't have to go through the whole process again. So if you want to, um, do that. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, I'll call it a day on this one. Like I said, I'm going to split it up into uh, three parts. Um, see you next part. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.